Well, I've uh, been talking to friends in the patriotic movement over the last day or so, and there seem to be some very, very disturbing trends happening and going on. And um, again, I'm, I'm very cautious to mention people's names. One, because I don't want to slander anyone. Um, but I think we can safely say this, that there are individuals who are fascists, Nazis, extremely, extremely right wing. And when I'm talking about right wing, I'm not talking about populist. I'm talking about goose stepping, Hitler loving um, people who love the idea of Adolf Hitler and everything that he did, love the idea of the Third Reich, think that Germany in the 1930s was a wonderful place to bring up your children. So we kind of guess who I'm talking about. And, and these individuals, these individuals are very slick. They're very persuasive. They've been, been involved in fascism for a very, very long time. And they do have an agenda. And it's interesting because... The, the people that normally attack us, the, the stand-up to racism types, the, um, the Socialist Workers' Party types, they never really have a go at these real fascists. Um, well, having said that, the real fascists don't really do anything other than, other than promote their own sinister agenda. So you never see them on demos, you never see them at our meetings, thankfully, because they'd be told where to go. But these fascists seem to be seducing people. Dare I say it, grooming people. And the people that they're grooming from the movement, from the wider patriot movement, tend to be, to be quite honest with you, low intelligence people who probably shouldn't have been in the position that they were in the movement. They latched onto Tommy. They stood on Tommy's shoulders. Then they kicked Tommy in the teeth and continue to do that. They've even stood on his platforms. I, I say that they're low IQ people because if they're not low IQ people, the only other option that we've got is that they agree with the fascist's agenda. They agree with the idea of Britain being an ethno state. It's ironic, actually, that the, the people that push the ethno state, very much like Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler was really into... Blonde haired, blue eyed, six foot two men, and of course he was about five foot five with dark hair and uh, all sorts of other minor ailments that would have excluded him from the master race. But it's very similar to the people that are running the uh, the the fascist and Nazi movement in the UK. None of them would fit into that master race category. In fact, some of them might find themselves getting accidentally carted off to the camps that these people want to set up, if their appearance is anything to go by. Very, very strange, strange group of people in a strange movement. So if the people that are attaching themselves to the latter-day fascists and the latter-day Nazis, if the people that are attaching themselves to those groups are not low IQ, we must come to the conclusion that they themselves are fascists who believe that the United Kingdom should be an ethno state, that they believe that everything bad that's going on in the world is because of a Zionist Jewish conspiracy. See, that's the sort of nonsense and poison that these people have been spewing for many, many years. And if you join yourself to that group and that movement, shame on you. Shame on you, especially when you've come out of the light of a true patriot movement that cares for this country, that cares for people of all races, all colours and backgrounds in this country, that wants to see Britain as a successful, cohesive, independent, free state. And you take yourself away from that from our ideology, which is a good ideology and a positive ideology, and attach yourself to fascists, neo-Nazis. Very, very strange behaviour. And the only thing I can think of, that these people were not getting enough attention when they were in our movement. They weren't high profile enough in our movement. They didn't have a big enough voice in our movement. 
They couldn't be the next Tommy because they wouldn't lace his boots. Because seeing these people operate, most of them have got backbones made out of jelly. It's very, very sad. And I haven't seen it, but um, I've got it. A very, very good friend of mine that the latest attack has been launched against Alan Craig. Now, I've known Alan for several years. I've known of, of him for many years when he single-handedly almost opposed the building of a, of a mega mosque in East London and very, very successfully ran a campaign to have that stopped. He's been um, a regular on, on Christian television um, he's been very, very heavily involved in the, in the Christian community. He's been very, very heavily involved in um, charitable work in, in his local area. And to, to hear of a hit piece against Alan, who is one of the, the most genuine, kind and gentle people in our movement, real gentleman, to hear of a hit piece by some busybody little witch that had the audacity to stand on a platform with people that were supporting Tommy Robinson and then when he got sent to prison to turn on him with all the viciousness and vitriol of the little cat that she is to hear of that attack against Alan is scurrilous and the insidious nature of the attack the whispering, the sneering of these people Anyone, anyone within our movement that is gravitating towards that, you have a choice. You have a choice that you've got to make. You can't play both sides of the fence. You can't play both teams. You're either one or the other. You're either with us or you're against us. And you've got to choose. Choose you this day. Who are you going to be with? Are you going to be with people who have a good righteous and true vision for this country or are you going to join yourself to the fascist and neo-nazis don't get me wrong these people are very very eloquent they do it for a full-time job no doubt no doubt a lot of these nazis are funded by the state because the state loves neo-nazis because i tell you something the vast majority the vast majority of the british public hate nazis so what's the best way to destroy a patriot movement? Get it taken over by the fascists. And to hear of an attack on Alan last night by the Wicked Witch of Copenhagen. Well, anybody that is thinking about going over to that side of the movement, if you go, go. But don't try and play both sides of the field. Don't try and play on both teams. You're either for us or you're against it, against us. And you've got to decide which side you're on. I know which side I'm on. And I'm not going to side with, with the, the goose-stepping Nazis who hate the Jews, hate anybody of colour, and want to turn our country into a little fascist dictatorship. One, they've no chance of doing it. But I wouldn't... I wouldn't I wouldn't give them any time of day. I was going to say a lot worse. I wouldn't give them any time of day. So you've got to decide which side you're on. There are many traitors who have gone over to them. Not only are you betraying the movement, you're betraying your country. And you're betraying everything that's good in our movement. Take a look at yourselves and decide. And choose. Choose which side you're on. Are you on the side of righteousness or on the side of evil? You have choices to make. I'll see you all soon.